Hello guys this is Lena from Vitish Academy and today in this presentation we are going to discuss about orthogonal projection So before we learn about orthogonal projection first let us learn what is a component So to explain this concept first let us consider a line segment OA and now let us draw a perpendicular line So this is our point B and let this line intersect the vector OA at the point M So this line is perpendicular to the vector OA so it forms 90 degrees over here now let us join the points OB and suppose that the length of the vector OA is a bar and OB is b bar so from this diagram we can conclude that the angle made between a bar and b bar is a acute angle then OM is called as a component of b bar on a bar similarly the vector OM is called as the component vector of b bar on a bar and the vector mb is called as the component vector of b bar and perpendicular to a bar so this is the brief introduction about the components now let us learn about the orthogonal projection so for this let us consider two line segment so this is our line segment oa and this is our line segment pq and let us consider the length of the vector oa is a bar and length of the vector pb is b bar and now let us say that the plane passing through the points pq and perpendicular to a bar intersect the line oa at two points l and m so here the vector lm is called as the orthogonal projection of b bar on a bar and make a note that the orthogonal projection of the vector b bar on a bar is equal to to the component vector of the vector b bar on a bar and now let us learn few more formulas based on the same concept so the component or the projection of the b bar on a bar is given by b bar into a bar divided by mod a bar and the length or the magnitude of the orthogonal projection of b bar on a bar is given as mod b bar into a bar divided by mod a bar and the vector component of b bar on a bar is given by b bar into a bar into a bar divided by mod a bar square and the last one is here the vector component of b bar perpendicular to a bar is given by b bar minus of b bar into a bar into a bar divided by mod a bar square so make a note of these formulas and by using these formulas we are going to solve an example over here so the example is here if a bar is equal to i plus j plus k and b bar is equal to 2i plus 3j plus k then we have to find the projection vector of b bar on a and also its magnitude So we know that the formula of finding the projection vector of b bar on a bar is given by b into a into a divided by mod a square. So we have here the values of a one as one, a two as one, and a three as one, and we have the values of b one as two, b two as three, and b three as one. So we can find the value of b into a. Just by multiplying here a1 into b1, which would be 2 into 1 plus a2 into b2, which is 3 into 1 plus 1 into 1 into a, which is nothing but i plus j plus k whole divided by mod a square. So its value would be equal to and the root of 1 square plus 1 square plus 1 square whole square. As we have here the coefficients of i, j, k as 1. Now let us simplify this. So we get here two into one, which is two plus three into plus three plus one divided by root three whole square into i plus j plus k. And now by adding the numerators, we get the value as six divided by three into i plus j plus k. On simplifying this, we get three one time is three, and three two times is six. So we get the value as two into i plus j plus k. So this is the projection vector of b bar on a bar. Now let us find its magnitude. 
So we can find the magnitude just by applying the mod symbol for the solution of projection vector of b bar on a bar. So we get the solution as 2 into i plus j plus k. Its modulus would be mod 2 into i plus j plus k. That is nothing but we get here 2 into mod i plus j plus k. So this would come as 2 into mod i plus j plus k would be root of 1 square plus 1 square plus 1 square. That implies we get here 2 into the value of 1 square plus 1 square plus 1 square which is root 3. So this is the magnitude of the vector b bar on a bar. So this was the basic introduction on orthogonal projection. Hope you understood the concept. For more videos on vector algebra, visit our website Vidish Academy. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.